Hey everyone, I want to do a brief video talking about how IgG calculates how much damage a hero does with a normal non-critical attack and also how much their rage skill will do as well. So the basic formula for damage is highlighted on my blog and I have a link for that down below, but it's the total damage equals the uh, base hero attack times the attack percentage plus a flat attack and then all of that gets multiplied by your damage bonus. So for example, here's Berserker. Uh, let's go ahead and look at his aids here. Actually, these are not his aids. Um, what am I doing? Why is he here? Uh, this is not your spot. This is Great Sage's spot. This is this is all wrong. Your spot's down here. All right. So here's Berserker. Uh, his he, here's his hero aids. So he has uh, this is the attack percentage. This is the first multiplication IgG will do. So it takes the uh, any aids from their level in slot two and slot three. So you notice that's 27, 120, and then uh, 60% at 130, so you add those together, that's um, 87%, and then I also actually have this uh, aid skill here. So there's different ways you could increase the attack percentage. Arguably, the strongest method is actually to level up your aids in slots 2 and 3. Um, for example, um, if I have them at level 130, both of them, you get a 90% boost to attack, and then uh, at level 180, 2 and 3 would be 146% attack boost, so that's actually really good. Then, of course, hero aids can do that as well. You see Chiron does uh, 30%. Skull Mage would be 40%, uh, Hydrosaur 28%, for example, and then Evolution as well. Let's take a look at my hero. Uh, not from this interface, from this one. So this will also give a certain percentage, so that's 35%. Um, and then you, of course, have the Hero Talent, Battle Fervor, Hero Enchanting. Sometimes they give the attack percentage. And then you also get a boost from being on the Hero Hall, and it can be boosted temporarily by skills like Enchantress's skill. But the way you, you factor this in, you don't multiply them one by one, but you add up all of the percents at once. So let's say, you know, I get to Libra. So I'd add that 35% to all the attack percentages that you get from your hero aids and any other sources as well. So I add those attack percentages up. For him right now, I think it's at 117 plus his evolution, which is only 15%, I believe, because uh, it's not Libra. So that's 132. Um, so that's the first level. And then the second level has to do with the uh, attack plus so not the percentage but just something like your weapon see this gives an extra 3,000 uh, 392 attack so that gets added on to the rate after you multiply the attack percentage by the base hero damage and, and I forgot to mention the base hero damage is um, how much damage your character does with no evolution so for example uh, let's see who has no evolution this guy no he has some uh, let's just grab someone down here, this guy. So he has no evolution, so this would be his base attack at level 1. And then if you level him up to level 2, you see his base attack increases. So this is the, this is the only way to increase base attack, um, is by leveling up your hero. Um, and so that base attack, before any evolution or anything, gets multiplied by the attack percentage, and then you add on the flat attack rate. And that's exactly the number that you see here. Um, we could do a brief test. He's up to 15,000. You notice when I first selected him and he wasn't on a base, that was excluding the hero aids. So that's definitely a huge boost um, as you level up your aids. That's really important. And then the last thing that I mentioned was uh, damage percentage. So there's a couple of ways to increase that. One is temporarily, of course, through... Whoops, it's not your spot, Ambrosia. Why do these guys keep doing that? Is is through, like, temporarily through her rage skill, which gets up to 30% at max. But the other way to increase it, uh, she has junk talents, is through the talent Blessed Weapons. That's 8% each. Um, if you look at weapons, certain weapons give a boost to damage percentage. That would be the Tome. Um, see that it, here, purple gives 8% damage. And then here uh, is the Holy Hammer. That gives 8% damage as well at the, at the first purple, purple, purple tier. So that's one way to increase damage. And damage, pound for pound, arguably is the strongest uh, bonus you can get at least when calculating non-critical damage and um, and and you I don't think you can crit on skills so I have he has this hammer and his crit re rate increases with the hammer and I've never seen him crit on his skills but if you want to say calculate the damage of this it's 1000 or 12,150 plus 300 percent attack AOE damage so as you ba basically it's this number um, times 300 percent plus 12150 times, and all of that, times the damage multiplier. So arguably, the damage multiplier is 
much stronger than the others pound for pound. Like if you had to compare Blessed Weapons versus Battle Fervor, Blessed Weapons will always be stronger, except in a few select cases. Um, it would be weaker in terms of Ambrosia because she heals relative to her attack. So if you boost her damage, that doesn't actually increase her healing, it just increases her attack. And then I think the other uh, exception is from Enchantress, maybe? Mm, what was I thinking of? I can't remember what it was. But it was a skill that was based, based, based off the hero's attack. Um, but normal ones like this one, for example, this only says attack, but damage gets multiplied onto it as well. So there you have it. There's a brief overview of attack percentage, attack, flat rate attack, and then uh, damage percentage. So um, what you'll find is you'll experience diminishing returns. And what that means is that the higher your attack percentage is, um, and let's say it's at 150%. If you get a 5% bonus, it will only increase you from 155 to 150 total. Um, so, you know, that's, that really only works out to maybe a 3% increase um, overall in terms of your at uh, total attack. So you're getting much less for it the higher you level up these percentages. Of course, the flat attack, that can just go as high as you want. Um, and then the damage bonus actually often is the most powerful one because most people don't have too much of the damage bonus. So if you get an 8% bonus and you have 0% before, you're going to have an 8% increase in total damage. So it's actually a really nice bonus. Plus, since I don't think skills can crit, you want to boost your total damage as much as you physically can um, because skills are often some of the most damaging things you can do in this game. So that's an overview. This is a seven minute video. It's actually, you know, a little more complicated. Check out the blog. I have very specific ways, all the ways you can boost attack percentage, flat attack and damage percentage. And um, it's, uh, yeah. So that's how, that's how IgG calculates damage. I'll get into critical damage uh, later on, which of course can be devastating. I've seen my Berserker. Um, he's, where are you Berserker? You're not supposed to be there, here. So he is, you know, he's level 140, doesn't even have Libra. He has this orange weapon, of course. And then uh, his hero aids. Um, typically, I think on attack, I'm generally using uh, Chiron and uh, Dijini, which gives you, boost your crit damage by, I've seen him get up to, you know, 130K. <laughs> you know, at level 62, which is just, uh, that's just murderous at this at this level. So there you have it. You know, you can really beef up your characters. Now this is an eight minute video, but you can beef up your characters that way and being strategic about how you invest in them. But I hope you can get an appreciation for not only boosting your hero level, but having, you know, hero aid skills and boosting your, um, uh, your hero aid levels as well. And that's a huge, huge difference. Um, yeah, I would get, uh, if I leveled my, if I could level my aids up a bit more, I, I'd probably get, you know, an extra, you know, 30% total damage. So at least, at least it'd be, it'd be pretty, pretty devastating. So push your aids up and check out the blog and I hope you learned something. Good luck.